हेलो एवरीवन टुडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट टिश्यू ट्रांसप्लांट एक्वायर्ड इम्यूनोडेफिशिएंसी सिंड्रोम एंड हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी लेट इस स्टार्ट विथ टिश्यू ट्रांसप्लांट और ग्राफ्ट दैट इज ट्रांसप्लांटेशन ऑफ टिश्यू फ्रॉम वन एनिमल टू अनदर देर आर वेरियस वेराइटीज ऑफ ग्राफ्ट फर्स्ट वन दैट इज होमोग्राफ्ट और इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज एलोग्राफ्ट here grafting the tissue from one person to another person of the same species autograft that is grafting tissue from one part of the individual to another part of the same individual third variety that is isograft that is grafting tissue from identical twins fourth variety that is xenograft which is also known as heterograft here grafting or transplantation of the tissue from one animal of the species to another animal of different species now rejection of grafted tissue when tissue such as skin or kidney or heart they are transplanted from donor to a recipient of same species the transplants take and function for a while but then they may become necrotic and they are rejected it is because the recipient develops immune response to the transplanted tissue this immune response develops even if the donor and the recipient they are close relatives and the only transplants they are never rejected are those from an identical twins for the rejection of the transplant t lymphocytes are important now graft rejection what is the cause of graft rejection that is due to immune response to the transplanted tissue and for which histocompatibility antigen is responsible as we have discussed histocompatibility antigens they are not similar in any two individuals except they are identical twins this hla they are present on the plasma membrane of the cell syngenic are the individuals with same genetic constitution and allogenic are the individuals with different genetic constitution how the graft rejection is prevented as we have discussed the graft rejection is due to immune response to the transplanted tissue so it is also prevented by suppression of immune response and that refers to reduction in an immunological response let us discuss various methods of immunosuppression first and foremost that is physical immunosuppressive agents which include irradiation which is the most common method irradiation breaks nucleic acid chain of the replicating cells and it destroys t lymphocytes which are responsible for the graft rejection which is also known as total lymphoid irradiation surgical procedures for immunosuppression that includes thymectomy thymus is removed splenectomy and thoracic duct damage chemical methods for immunosuppression one can give corticosteroids they suppress the immune response by following ways corticosteroids they suppress maturation of activated cell they also suppress production of antibodies corticosteroids they have anti inflammatory effect as well as they decrease the responsiveness of b and t lymphocytes and they inhibit production of interleukins 1 and 2 but disadvantage of prolonged use of corticosteroids that leads to osteoporosis hypertension diabetes as well as other signs of the cushing syndrome another drug that is used for immunosuppression is cyclosporine as well as tacrolimus is also used it also acts by inhibiting the production of interleukin 2 but it has adverse effect on the liver and kidney as well as it is carcinogenic cytotoxic drugs they are also used for immunosuppression as a thioprene and cyclophosphamide they act on various stages of nucleic acid synthesis and 
therefore they prevent replication of the lymphocyte here you can see this is the mechanism of action of azathioprine it inhibits the replication another drug is methotrexate it acts by antagonizing the folic acid how does it act here you can see this is folic acid synthesis for which the enzyme required that is dihydrofolate reductase you can see here and it is competitively inhibited by the drug methotrexate biological methods for immunosuppression here anti lymphocytic serum or anti lymphocytic globulin is injected what does it means antibodies are produced against t lymphocytes and they are prepared by you can see here lymphocytes are taken from the individual and they are injected in another species like in horse and in the horse the antibodies against this lymphocytes are produced so the serum of the horse is collected which contains antibodies and this serum is again injected in the individual as the serum contains antibodies against t lymphocytes therefore the t lymphocyte activity is suppressed next small topic that is immunological surveillance whenever normal cell is transformed into cancer cell in our body this transformed cancer cell or tumor cell is recognized by our immune system it is recognized as non self and it is destroyed and such response is known as immunological surveillance this immunological surveillance is carried out by cytotoxic t cells macrophages and natural killer cells probably cellular immunity mechanisms they decrease with age and which accounts for increased incidences of tumors with advancing age clinical aspects whenever there is lack of some components or defect in some components of immune system that results in absence of cellular and humoral immunity and therefore the person is having susceptibility to infection one of the example is dijord syndrome here there is congenital absence of thymus or thymic hypoplasia and therefore cellular immunity is absent here humoral immunity is present a gamma globulinemia or hypo gamma globulinemia here there is abnormality of helper and suppressor t cells which results in deficiency of b lymphocytes as well as here deficiency of peripheral lymphoid tissue because of this there is absence of plasma cells and marked reduction of igg level now which are the effects here up to 3 to 4 months after birth of the baby maternal antibodies are present and as and when maternal antibodies they disappear the child is susceptible to bacterial infection here the child is resistant to viral and fungal infection because cellular immunity is normal next is chronic lymphatic leukemia here there is uncontrolled proliferation of b lymphocytes you can see here cll affects b cells whereas in acute lymphatic leukemia there is uncontrolled production of t lymphocytes another disease is malignant myeloma here malignant proliferation of clones of mature plasma cell next immunodeficiency disorder that is aids acquired immunodeficiency syndrome which is caused by human immunodeficiency virus structure of this virus this is rna retrovirus family and you can see here in the nucleus it has rna on the cell membrane this virus has glycoprotein receptors you can see here and this glycoproteins they bind with surface receptors of t lymphocytes monocytes macrophages and dendritic cells and therefore it results in destruction of this cells now mechanism of action you can see as we have discussed 
the virus is rna retrovirus family you can see here the virus has rna and another is enzyme reverse transcriptase whenever the virus enters into the host cell there is activation of the enzyme reverse transcriptase you can see here and this enzyme converts viral rna into viral dna with the help of host dna and normal activities of host dna are prevented now there is increase in the number of hiv in the host cell there is replication and rupture of the host cell which results in release of the virus and infection of other cells transmission of the infection that is by sexual intercourse with the infected person also from mother to child contaminated needles also transmit the virus and contaminated blood transmission detection of the virus that is detected by elisa test by presence of antibodies against the virus presence of the antibodies indicates presence of infection clinical features respiratory tract infections are common may be mild to severe pneumonia digestive tract disturbances include nausea vomiting diarrhea and weight loss cns involvement results in meningitis encephalitis and brain abscess also there is deterioration of neurological functions lymphadenopathy is also present and development of malignant tumors also increases prevention of hiv infection for that following safety measures are required it is required to educate the public educate hiv infected persons also educate iv drug users screening for the hiv is must before blood is transfused pregnant mother screening is also required and safer sex techniques and use of condom also prevents the infection next topic is hypersensitivity that is exaggerated or powerful immune response to antigen here the antigen is also known as allergen because it produces allergic response whenever the allergen is exposed for the first time there is sensitization and on second and subsequent exposure to the same allergen produces hypersensitivity reaction so you can say that sensitization is must for the hypersensitivity reaction which are the common allergens they are food substances inhalants contactants certain drugs also produces allergy and in infectious agents also produces allergy hypersensitivity is classified in four groups depending on what part of the immune system is involved they are type 1 also known as anaphylactic hypersensitivity type 2 cytotoxic hypersensitivity type 3 also known as immune complex mediated hypersensitivity and type 4 is delayed type of hypersensitivity starting with first anaphylactic hypersensitivity here there is increase in the ige immunoglobulin e this immunoglobulins are present on the mast cells and basophils and whenever the allergen or antigen enters you can see here this allergen or antigen binds with ige ige is also known as reagent so you can see here there is formation of allergen reagent complex and when this complex is formed permeability of the mast cell increases and mast cells they release histamine heparin slow reacting substance of anaphylaxis also releases platelet activating factor and chemotactic substances and it produces following reactions there is anaphylaxis also there is urticaria asthma and hay fever we'll discuss anaphylaxis when antigen is injected 
it can directly react with the basophils of the blood and mast cells and therefore there is widespread allergic reaction means it produces widespread vasodilatation and widespread increased permeability of capillaries which causes loss of plasma from the circulation and because of that there is circulatory shock that results in death along with that whenever there is release of leukotriens like slow reacting substance of anaphylaxis there is spasm of the smooth muscles of bronchioles and it produces asthma like attack which may lead to death by suffocation next is urticaria when antigen enters in specific skin areas there is release of histamine and this histamine causes vasodilatation which produces red flare also histamine increases permeability of capillaries and produces swelling hay fever here allergen reagent complex occurs in the nose here it releases histamine which causes vasodilatation and increased capillary permeability in the nose which results in swelling and increased secretion from nasal lining it also produces irritation of the nose and sneezing another characteristic feature that is asthma here allergen reagent reaction occurs in the bronchioles of the lungs and mast cells they release slow reacting substance of anaphylaxis as we have discussed in anaphylaxis also there is asthma like condition here slow reacting substance of anaphylaxis causes spasm of the smooth muscles of bronchioles and therefore the person has difficulty in breathing person feels suffocation and may lead to death this is all about type 1 that is anaphylactic hypersensitivity next is type 2 which is also known as cytotoxic hypersensitivity here antibodies react with an antigen on the surface of the cell and the cells are destroyed by phagocytosis or by the lytic enzymes examples are blood transfusion reaction you can see here antigen antibody reaction takes place on the surface of rbc and rbcs they are phagocytosed as well as other example is hemolytic disease of newborn type 3 hypersensitivity which is also known as immune complex mediated hypersensitivity here immune complexes are formed which are deposited in kidneys skin joints and eyes and in kidneys they produce glomerulonephritis as well as hematuria in skin that is skin rashes and joint pain type 4 hypersensitivity which is known as delayed type of hypersensitivity here there is over reaction of t lymphocytes antigen is detected by t lymphocytes which causes clonal expansion of the t lymphocytes and therefore cytotoxic t cell activity is increased which results in hypersensitivity reaction examples are contact dermatitis and graft rejection next is immune modulation that is modification of immunological response either it is enhanced or reduced immune enhancement that is increase in the response which is in the term of rate intensity duration and even induction of the response to the substance which were earlier non immunogenic this immune enhancement acts as adjuvant which increases the immune response so this is all about the applied aspect of the immunity thank you